Hey, fire signs. We're going to find out how does the person on your mind, you know, what do they like about you? And what are some things that may bother them or maybe some things that they dislike about you? Because that's always good to know, right? Because then we can kind of like, maybe sometimes people don't open their mouths. And so then we like don't know how to fix things. And so maybe this could help. I keep on hearing that song, you know, please stay. I want you. I need you. That song. I checked the, um, as I'm saying song, you hear that car with the loud ass music. So it's by Benson Boone. Um, and that song has been on my mind since yesterday and just before I started this reading for the last few hours It's just over and over just that one part in my head plus I don't know the whole song But I don't know that can make sense for somebody here Maybe somebody doesn't want you to leave or somebody feels like they need you or they you know They want you and they need you Okay, so let's see. What is this person like about you? The five of swords and the king of cups the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I feel like they like that you're very nurturing. You're very trustworthy. Okay, this person definitely trusts you. They trust what you're going to say behind their back. Uh, with the Page of Swords, they like how you speak your truth and you speak what's on your mind. I feel like you say what it is that you need or want, you know, and it's like um, you also may validate them. Okay, but the five of swords, that is somebody who is defensive and has their walls up. So like that could also be somebody who will never give up. If you want something bad enough, you will fight your hardest and you will never give up on the things that you love or the people that you love and the things that you want. So this is somebody that sees you as a very hard worker, very loyal, um, also very, um, what is the word? Empathic. You have the lover's card, too, on the bottom of the deck. They just really love, like, how, I'm hearing gentle, too, how gentle you are or, like, how, like, easygoing you are. That could be, like, especially with the king of cups and the lovers. It's, like, it's, you just kind of, like, go with the flow type person and just feel this person really likes how easy it is that, you know, easy the connection is. With the five of swords, though, they do feel like it's a battle to kind of get you to open up. But I think that they like that battle. It's kind of like a challenge to them. Yeah, as I'm saying that, the Four of Swords. Like, they like that you don't go, like, revealing everything with the Three of Swords, that you have been hurt in the past. Okay, so you do have this wall up. You're very protective of yourself. You have a lot of respect for yourself. You know who you are. You know you're worth your value. The King of Wands. They also like how loyal you are. You're somebody who's like a best friend type energy. Like somebody tells you something, you're never going to, you know, tell their secrets. Even if somebody pisses you off, like I feel like you guys wouldn't even be the ones to retaliate. You may want to or think about it, but I feel like you guys don't. It's just not in you to do that. And so with this person, they really value, you know, your generosity, your kindness, your loyalty. All right, you got two kings and you have the lover's card. So this person, they see you as like higher up, somebody who sits on a throne, somebody that has, you know, a lot of power. You're very strong, but in the loving, in a loving, passionate way. Okay, it's not like in a very like, it could be defensive in a way because I do feel like you guys have your walls up a little, but it's for protection. It's not just to be like an ass. My house is haunted. I don't know if y'all just heard that big bang. And that literally came from my basement. But whatever. The, don't know what that was. But you have the Empress and the Seven of Wands. It's like you're very confident in your, in your own skin. You're very like, I don't know. It's just like you see your value the way that you put yourself the way you present yourself to them and other people it just seems like you're always like like the mother type the one that's always taking care of other people leading other people nurturing others you know um nurturing other people's ideas so like people may come to you with like things that they want to do or ideas of theirs and it's like you're somebody that may help them with like extra ideas i don't know it's just like i feel like this person really values like your creativity um your mindset and the way that you handle situations that's one more thing the high priestess you're very intuitive okay and you're also very psychic and so this person may like that you are somebody that can just read them 
and the Six of Wands. You guys may be in the public eye. You guys may get a lot of attention. I feel like you guys are very beautiful, right? You stand out. There could be something unique about you. Okay, I don't know if you guys have like really big lips or really big lips or like, um, I'm seeing like somebody with like a chiseled, either it's a chiseled face, but you guys could also be like chiseled, you know what I mean? Like your body, like sculpted, perfectly like sculpted. And the Six of Wands with the High Priestess, it's like you know when this person is feeling down or you know when there's something up with them and I feel like you're very supportive, you know? So they feel like they can trust you, you're very supportive. They may even have love for you already. I don't know if you know how long you've known this person, but I do feel like this person has feelings for you. You have the Nine of Swords. So these are what they dislike. The Nine of Swords and the Star. And the Six of Swords. So, maybe you disengage from this person sometimes when it gets too tough. Like, you guys may walk away if you're having an issue. You may need your space. Maybe when you're angry, you don't like to talk. You're just like, leave me alone. Let me, like, have my space and then I'll talk. I feel like they don't like that. Um, you're my, you also might be somebody that like heals on your own or deals with things on your own. I feel like you're very strong about that. And I feel like this is something that they also don't like. Because I feel like with the King of Swords, you got Aquarius energy, strong Aquarius energy. Um, Gemini. There's a lot of air here and you have Taurus. I think that's it, right? Yeah, I feel like this person's like... The things that may bother them is like you may be very distant with your communication or this could be like disregarding um, things, right? Like, and then you have the Queen of Wands. There could be some drama here. Like maybe you guys kind of go head to head. The Queen of Wands is somebody who stands up for themselves. She don't play. And then you have the King of Wands, which is also somebody who could be, you know, very serious, clear cut, very blunt. So I feel like sometimes maybe they feel like they wish that you would hold back the things that you want to say to them. You guys may just speak what's on your mind. The Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. They also might be like not happy with um, or not liking or your success may be bothering them, especially if you're in the public eye. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress, you're working on your creativity or you're working on yourself. This could be somebody that you're no longer in contact with. This person's not liking the fact that you are working on yourself. You're working on maybe even a project or a business that you're trying to create. Something that you're trying to create. Okay? It's like you are taking your power back. You're nurturing yourself now. You could have pulled back from this person as I'm saying that the Five of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So... You also, like, I feel like they really respect you for, really look up to you for respecting yourself and setting clear boundaries. Like, you could have set boundaries with this person. Yeah, but I do feel like this person does not like the fact that you're getting a lot of attention or that you are working on something. Maybe you're not spending enough time with them. You may be spending more time with, like, your family or your mom or your kids or, you know, things like that. They also may not, not appreciate <laughs> that you don't answer them back right away. The chariot. Yeah, they, they could be a little bit jealous here. Sorry. Um, this person may actually end up being like a little bit jealous. The four of pentacles. They could definitely be having this jealousy stemming from something from the past that they're still holding on to. They could also be like holding on to you and you've already moved on from this person and they can't let you go. The ace of wands in reverse. This might be somebody that you've rejected or you've kind of walked away from. You could have been done with this person. And they don't like the fact that, like, I feel like you, there's no energy here. Or there's no inspiration. There's, like, no spark left. Like, the energy has, like, dissipated here. And the moon. I think this person's fearing that you're walking away from them. I feel like this person's fearing that you're losing, you know, um, interest in them. They sense a difference in you. The Three of Swords. Yeah, this person feels like this This could be somebody from your past. If this is somebody that you're dealing with now, they're afraid that you're going to leave or you're going to walk away. Something that stems from the past, holding on to the past, the baggage. 
Your past is baggage. I'm going to get guidance. The Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups. The world. I feel like you are thinking about cutting this person out of your life or you have already done this. Like you cleared this chapter. You've learned the lesson or you've learned something from this. And it's time for you, you know, to seek clearly and trust yourself of the things that you're seeing and feeling. Okay. With the five of cups, you guys may be like taking this as a huge loss. Right. But with the five of cups, he has three cups that are spilt over, but the two behind him are standing up. So spirit just wants you to know this may be really upsetting for you. And I'm sorry that you guys are going through this, but, you know, there is other things out there that are meant to be for you. Other things that you were meant to experience. OK, this can and this does not mean that you have to cut this person completely out of your life if you don't want to. But the things that are being done um that are not helping this connection are the things that need to be ended. You know what I'm saying, Cherry? There's things that need to be moved on from. But you got a lot of cards here talking about an ending, cutting things out that no longer serve you, and moving forward. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, this is like having no like ambition or drive to even like move forward with this. I feel like you guys felt like a lack of commitment on their side and like Maybe you feel like that's why you don't want this anymore or something like this, okay? This person could have, like, bad habits or maybe they take some negative risks or maybe they said too many th things to you that you just can't get over. I just feel like there's something that is so hard to get over with this person for you. And I just feel like you guys are, like, ready to start a new chapter. The Seven of Wands, you're also guarding yourself, protecting yourself more now. And the King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. This is about being confident and following through with the plans that you've made about this. Okay, because I feel like you guys made plans here. It's about being confident that you could do it. Okay, I just seen 12, 12. So anyway, I hope this helps. I just seen the Star and the Ace of Swords. This is about having hope, you know, and living your truth, right? Standing in your truth, speaking your truth. Doing what you know is best for you, okay? And being confident that no matter what gets thrown your way, you're going to be able to handle it, all right? I hope this helps. Take care. Toodles.